You know, things can get gray and cold, wet and snowy. Of course, there's always some good to be found. Debbie Ballou caught this little guy, Red Pod, in Toby Hanna. Here's a solid feeder. Lori Morrison in Granville Summit saw this one. Everybody gets hungry this time of year. Breakfast for a Blue Jay here from Shelley Stuber in Presqueville. We take colors of any kind and any place. Here's some from Jenna Chacken, Exeter. We search, cameras in hand, hoping our adventure will be rewarded. Lisa Mickley in Benton surely was. Not quite as much color in this image from Brian Dibble, Laceyville. Still welcome all the same. Oh, don't forget to look up occasionally, too. Betty Goodwin in Shavertown did, and she was rewarded. And don't forget to look from the other side of the fence. Karen Ritter of Factoryville didn't, and look what she found. A sure sign of spring, flowers. A most welcome sight they are, too. A Siberian squill flower, Cynthia Roth of Catawissa tells us. A member of an industrious crew here, Doreen Lazarovich in Dixon City pointed it out. They're back. If you're willing to get up early, then you might get a sunrise like the one Jen Lydon of Oneida did. Now, this would get your day off to a great start. Another great start here, morning at Lake Hotto, thanks to Mark Papunik, Nesquahone. From Joanne Barbera in Scranton comes this image. The start of a day comes in many shapes and sizes, but wakes us up and gives us color all the same. Hard combination to beat when you think about it. I'm Mike Stevens in the Photo Link Library.